Well, this is exciting. So you've probably seen in a lot of the comments on my YouTube videos when I've been installing new consumer units that I've been really slammed for not using a Torx screwdriver. And to be fair, those comments had some value because it is really important to get the right torque when you're terminating cables into circuit breakers, RCDs, things like that, where the manufacturer has given a certain torque setting that they require you to uh, tighten it up to. So I went ahead and got myself one of these. It's from Weera. Now, Weera are an amazing brand of tool manufacturer and it's a kit. So I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. And there'll be a link in the description if you guys wanna get yourself one of these. It cost me about 100 quid on Amazon and I'm really looking forward to using it. Oh yes, I get to become a Weera Tool Rebel. That sticker is definitely going in the new van. So here it is. It's a kit now on the front. That looks like a screwdriver that's indented into it, but it's not actually a screwdriver. It's just a plastic little molding. I'm gonna open that up. What have we got inside? So this is the handle and this is the torque handle so you've got different torque settings on there and you can just change those by adjusting this I assume, have to look in the instructions uh, and then these different screwdriver attachments fit in to the head so this is for example probably the one that I would use the most for installing circuit breakers because it's the perfect design for connecting those up and it literally just clicks in to that and that is super solid and then when you turn it it gets to a certain torque setting and then it will just click uh, and slip basically to stop it you from over tightening it I've already got one of these Weera sets, very similar to this, but not with a torque handle. Uh, but the ends here are a lot thicker in the set that I've got. These ones are designed to fit into circuit breakers, RCBOs, things like that. They're like a slimline version. So they're much better from that point of view that they're gonna fit into the different circuit breakers. So we've got different styles here. We've got a really tiny flat one. We've got a slightly bigger flat. This is probably the size that you'd use for most socket switch terminal, things like that. And then a, a large, a large flat. And again, as I say, it's just super flat line. And then we've got here a normal pH, uh, what is that, Phillips head uh, pH 1, there we go, we've got pH 2, and this will be PZ, so POSI, PZ 1, yep. And this will be the PZ2.
And then here we've got some Torx. So we've got a TX10. TX15. TX20. And TX25 which are really handy in some situations when you've got Torx terminals to tighten up. And then here is, now what's it called officially, this PZ slash S one. And the other one which I already showed you, which is in the screwdriver, which will be the PZ slash slash S two. So a wide range, a wide selection there. And the handle, is really nice and smooth, easy to grip, solid. And to change the torque setting, what we do is we pull this down and then we turn it. So we've got 1.5, 1.3nm. We can turn it again and it goes down to 1.4 nm. Turn it again, it goes down to 1.5 nm. Nm stands for Newton meters, by the way. That's 1 1.6, 1 1 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 2. So 2.1, 2.2. Point three, I think it goes all the way down to three. So yeah, it goes from 1.2 to three Newton meters. So that's pretty much the whole range that you'll ever need, especially when you're doing pretty standard electrical work in domestic or commercial properties. And it's super easy to change the torque setting. So you can just grind it right up to the one that you use the most. And that's it. So let's try this out now in real life. And what I thought I'd do is get a brand new Hager RCBO, which is the type of thing that I would be fitting on a fairly regular basis in a domestic consumer unit. This is an ADN40, so it's one of the larger types. And see how we go about figuring out what torque setting to use and how to set it up and actually how to tighten the, t the terminals to the right torque setting. Now I opened the box and I looked straight at the circuit breaker and I th the RCBO and I thought okay there must be a torque setting on here somewhere and having searched everywhere around the casing of the RCBO I cannot find a torque setting which disturbed me a little bit there is no torque setting. It gives you the strip lengths of how long you should strip the conductors. Um, but that is it. So I thought, okay, well, let's look in the instructions that are provided. So we've got the instructions here that come in the box. And again, it gives you quite a lot of information, including what type of screwdriver that you should use, that you should use a PZ2 screwdriver how you should click it into the DIN, rail, etc. But I can't seem to see anywhere a torque setting. So, okay, what do we do? Do we just tighten up to whatever length we want? Well, no, let's try looking on the Hager website. So I've gone to the Hager website here on my iPad and you can see if you just Google Hager RCBO torque settings, this is the page that comes up. They do give you standard torque settings for their different products. So here we've got RCBO. It says to use a PZ2 or a flat 5.5 screwdriver. And then for different size cables, it gives you different torque settings. Although actually in this case, they're all the same. So the torque setting for a Hager RCBO is 2.1 Newton meters. So there we go, that's easy. So let's set up 
the new screwdriver and I'm going to put the PZ2 in here, which is this one. Click that in. And then I'm going to set this to 2.1 Newton meters. If you see here, every time you turn it, Okay, that's 2.2, .2. so if I wind it back one, that is 2.1. So can you see how it just lines up exactly with the number that you want? That shows you you're on the right setting. So if I turn it one more, it will go to 2.2 .2 Newton meters. So I want to go back to 2.1, and it just clicks into place, right? So there we've got that. Now I'm going to just terminate it onto itself just for a test. So I'm going to use the live terminal, pop the neutral in there, and then just tighten this up. Let's get this out of the way for a second. setting so that's it I've reached the correct torque setting and that is nice and hot. sorry slight technical hitch there and if I want to undo it, it just works like a normal screwdriver undo it now let's try and see if it fits into the neutral terminal because sometimes these can be a pain with Wira but actually fits perfectly and there you go just clicks and it just slips to stop you from tightening it up any more than it should and that's it brilliant bit of kit I'm really looking forward to using it and uh, it'll be interesting to learn the different torque settings that the different manufacturers require I suppose after a while to get used to knowing which one's which so, as I say, link in the description if you want to have a look at one of these. Uh, get yourself one off Amazon. And I'm certainly going to enjoy using this over the coming days and weeks. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. And if you've not done so already, subscribe to the channel. We've got more great videos coming up soon. Thank you for watching.